Hey guys, it is Drew here at Card of My Eye, and today I wanted to show you this mini album that I created for um, my eBay store, and it is on eBay right now. The link is in the description below, so you could um, go down there and find this album if you'd like to bid on it. And it's a three-ring binder style mini album. This is probably one of my most favorite mini albums I've ever created. And um, this is the ideas from Laura from Following the Paper Trail. She came up with the Three Binder mini album idea, and I really like it. So thanks so much, Laura, for that idea. And um, it is a 7-inch by, I think, 4.5-inch piece of chipboard. And you guys can find her video in order to make this Three Ring Binder album. But, um, so, I'm just going to go over what I did for the front cover. I inked a piece of white cardstock with some Crushed Olive Distress ink by Tim Holtz. And then I added um, the word Dream in here with um, some stickers from KI Memories. And I stitched it with some green stitching just in some random spots to add interest to the letters. And then I added um, Prima Flowers. And all the paper is from the Sultry, e Euphoria, and... Um, I think that's all. Yeah, the Sultry and the Euphoria Paper Collections by Basic Gray. And then I added Prima Flowers here, various pink Prima Flowers, and I used k and Company Pop stickers here and here. They're both from the same collection. One second. They are from the Glamour Girl Dimensional Stickers. That's what they're called. And the Butterfly is from there, as well as a Little Star. And I added some Prima Bling into the center here. And um, some more Prima Bling. I added a Heart Brad here. I added Prima Bling as well over here. And then some more Prima Bling. And then I added a couple um, Can Company Blings around the page just to add a little bit more interest to the page. So that is the front cover. The side, again, is the three ring binder mini. So the, the, the binder rings are sticking out. And... I've added various laces, ribbons, um, fibers, Maya Road, um, the leaf trim, just a couple different things, rickrack trims, lots of trims on there, so, and they all coordinate really nicely. And then you open it up, and the album sits like this, and on, this is the inside page, I didn't just want to leave it blank, I decided to add a large photo map for a large photo and it's using this really pretty paper here. And I tied a purple bow and I added again one of those Glamour Girl Dimensional Stickers by Kane Company. And then on this page, all of my pages are, I think, four inches. I don't remember, you guys. I think they're four inches by six inches. I know they're six inches long, and I think they're four inches wide or three and three quarters. I'm not sure. And this page has two um, photo mats for some photos that are pretty nice size, probably like a 3x3 three three photo. And then um, I have some cotton cording across all of the small photo mats, and they're all stitched around the edges. And then I have this Prima flower, and I added a Can Company sticker in the center of it, and again a Prima with a Can Company, um, what are those called, bling, and another Prima flower. And then you're going to flip the page of your Three Ring Binder mini album. And on this page, I added a large photo map for a large photo. And I added some stitching lines and some of that ribbon again with the leaves on it. And then a couple Prima flowers over here. And then on this side, I added a large photo mat with some um, fibers. This really nice fiber here. I love that. And then I added uh, another one of those dimensional stickers and then a couple... Um, Prima Flowers with um, bling from Can Company, a little butterfly bling there, and then a uh, flower bling that's really super dimensional. It's like really dimensional, popped up and raised. And then the next page has, again, two photo mats, and all your photos can slip underneath here as well, um, with the cotton cording on them, and then some Can Company sticker, um, Prima Flowers, and then a green Prima with um, pink polka dots and a Prima Pearl. So, all of that, and then it's all stitched around the edges again. And on this page, there is two more rooms for photos. Again, it slips under here. Um, nice Prima flower here that I inked in the center to make it kind of fade into the pearl. 
and then I added on this prima flower down here. So that is that page. The next page has room for a large photo, and I tied the Maya Road scallop ribbon in a knot and wrapped it around this stitched photo mat that I created. And I added a prima flower with a green prima and a small um, can company blend. That's one of those really dimensional ones. And then a pink prima with a green bling in the center. And then on this page, again, two photo mats. Photos can slip underneath there. I added one of these large um, scallop kind of um, doodled, um, doodled, what should I call this? Sticker by Kane Company from the same collection. All the stickers are from the same collection. And then one of these um, Prima flowers with some writing on it and it has a little, um, what are these called? Blings. Man, I have not got that word right today. And then again, a Prima with a bling in the center and they're all stitched. Again with the cotton cording, this one has it around the corners and then some at the top. So that's that page. And then the next page has another large photo mat. I love this paper in the background and I stitched it onto some pink cardstock. And then I added on some vintage lacing that I got from our scrapbook store. And a couple Prima flowers with um, a Prima bling and some Kane Company bling and Kane Company stickers in the center there. And the next page has um, another large photo mat with some pink ribbon and I tied some tulle around the pink ribbon. And then I added a Prima flower down here. I love this color of Prima flower and I added a Can Company um, bling and then a Can Company dimensional pop sticker and you can really see how dimensional and poppy those are. And then a Prima flower with a Prima pearl. And the next page has a large photo mat here and then some ribbon that I, you, I tied in a knot on each corner. That's some of that loopy ribbon. And then a couple Prima flowers with some Prima bling and Can Company bling. The next page has room for photos and all your photos can slip under there. Um, a, again, dimensional sticker that's shaped like a heart with some scallop. And then a Prima flower here, a, a double layered Prima flower. And a Prima bling and again a Prima flower with a pink polka dot and a um, a Kane Company bling, and again some of that cotton cording I added onto the page. And the very last page has a large photo mat here, and some a ribbon tied here, and there is some ribbon tied underneath there, but you probably can't see that. And then I added a couple Prima flowers here, and dimensional stickers, um, Kane Company bling, Prima bling. So. That's that page, and then room for a large photo mat. A large photo mat here with some scallop trim on it. Um, one of those Can Company stickers, and a couple Prima flowers with Prima bling, and again, all of the photo mats are stitched. So that is the dream mini album that I created, you guys. So I hope that, sorry about that. So I hope that you guys like this mini album, and again, it's available on my eBay store and the link is in the description below and there's a side view it's really thick and bulky and it's perfect for a girl's mini album so you guys thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day bye everyone